trying a new background today. Well, not really background, but trying new lighting today. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you like prefer the darker background or the usual lighter background? Let me know what your thoughts. But today we're going to try this, the darker background. I think it brightens up the face a little bit. Anyways, welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new here, I'm Jessica from Jessing Things Up, and today we are going to try a brand new product collection at Avon Canada. So have you ever wanted to get more out of your makeup, make it, you know, last longer and, you know, perform better? Avon just came out with this brand new collection called the FMG Glow Color Collection, and there are three parts to it, and today I have one piece, so you gotta stay tuned to find out what that is, or you can take a guess, because you guys know what I am always obsessed with. So this collection is designed to refresh, prep, and perfect your skin with base makeup products to help you get ready for your day and make your makeup work even better for you. The product line, it features vegan and clean formulas, it has a dewy, natural finish, it's supposed to be lightweight, breathable, and have a hydrating texture, as well as suitable for all skin types and complexions. Now, in this collection, there are three pieces like I previously mentioned. First piece is the FMG Glow Color Face Primer, which is designed to give you an instant boost of moisture, as well as to prepare your skin for makeup application. The second piece is the FMG Glow Color Face Mist, which to helps awaken the skin while lo locking in your makeup in place with this ultra fine water based mist. Now the third piece is the da -da 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 FMG Glow Color Lip Serum Pencil. A lip serum pencil. Who would ever thought? I've actually never tried a lip serum. I've put serum on my lips just because I did um, and I've tried using lip mask but I've never used a lip serum so pfft, I'm gonna give these babies a little bit of a treat today. And what this is supposed to do is supposed to pamper your pounds instantly and it's um, supposed to just give you that extra silky, serumy love that your lips might be craving for. So, are you ready to see it? One, two, three. Ba -ba! Da -da -da -da! So here it is. This is the Glow Color Lip Serum Pencil. Out of the collection, this one spoke to me the most. I have primers. I have face mitts. Well, mind you, I have... I have lip stuff too, but yeah, it's it's me. And so this feature, it's um, it's a lip balm texture. According to the Avon website, the feature of this is supposed to go on like a balm, but then instantly melt to become more of a silky, yummy serum. And then it's supposed to cool and refresh upon application because it does have peppermint oil. It's supposed to also give you like instant hydration and then it has a clear glossy shine. Now, using this, you can use it a.m. and p.m. At nighttime, you can use it as a nighttime overnight mask to kind of, I guess, uh, like how you would use the um, vitamin C lip mask. Oh my gosh, I still love that product. I did it last night. Look how hot my, my lips are right now. Um, sorry for the voice. Uh, we've had a air pollution warning feed from the forest fires and everybody who's being affected by it, our thoughts are with you. Um, but yeah, my, it's definitely affecting my voice and it's also affecting my, my chest. So my voice is a little raspier than normal. I don't know if it sounds like I'm sick or if it sounds kind of sexy. <laughs> you know that. Yeah, it always reminds me of Phoebe in Friends when she has the cold and she's singing Smelly Cat. <laughs> I love friends. During the day, you can wear this alone. So that's what we're going to try today. We're going to try wearing it alone, but you can also wear it as a base to prep your lips for the day. What I'm curious about is, is A, how it's going to lay under your traditional lipstick. So our traditional bullet style lipstick, but also I want to see how it affects um, like a lip stain to see if it'll transfer more because typically when I do a lip stain, my lips are naked before application so that it really, really, really stay like has a chance to like seep in and stay on. So I'm wondering if this will create a barrier so it can't stay on, like it won't seep in properly and then make it transferable. So we're gonna test all that out today, so stay tuned. Now the key ingredients in this is a lip booster complex, which is a blend of jojoba oil and other seed oils and also argan oil. It's, these oils 
combined are designed to nourish and smooth the appearance of dry parched lips. It has a peppermint oil which helps to um, create like a cool and refreshing feeling upon your, your application. And also it is free from fragrance, parabens, phthalates, gluten, and talc. So yes, this is a gluten-free product from what I read on our website. The packing of this beautiful purple fading into pink, love that color scheme. This is actually part of the color scheme of my previous dance studio. I love pink, blues, and purples. This product is made in Germany. That's, I think that's might be a first for us. You want to say hi? Hi. Hi. Monkey man wanted to say hi. I love you. I love you. Why are you tangled so high? Because I'm filming. So let's open this beauty up. I have not tried this. I have not read any reviews on it. So I am very excited to definitely test out my first impression and experience my first impression untainted on this product here. So again, I love the packaging. I think it is so pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, 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 very simplistic. Actually, that was gonna be like purple or blue, but it is white with like purple blue coloring, and the serum itself, as you can see, is clear. Total weight is 1.8 grams. First off, sniff test. Ooh, you can get that peppermint right away. As soon as you smell, you get that minty freshness. Oh my gosh, this will be perfect for when I'm sleepy. <laughs> so I don't know how else it'll work for me at night because. Scents definitely plays a huge part in my mood, and do you remember how we used to have the, um, yeah, I think it was like a lip cube or something like that, and it had like a bit of mint in it? Oh my gosh, I definitely used that to help me wake up in the morning, so this would be a great way to wake up in the morning. Don't know if it's going to work as well for me at night. Let's try a texture swatch test. Oh, oh, okay. Now, you can see that there's just a little bit of sheen to it right here. All right, so it's gonna give you a little bit of that gloss, I think. Um, but the thing is that it went on really smooth, like really satiny. All right, so now let's move over to the window so you can get this natural view. If anyone has any suggestions for tripods to fit on a windowsill, please let me know because right now I'm stacking boxes and books to get my camera higher. <laughs> All right, so here it is. You can just see a little bit of that sheen, but like I said, it goes on really smooth and buttery. First off, now, let's wipe off the thing on my lips. So, lips are naked now. So, this is what my natural lips look like. Let's just put it on my lips first and see how it feels. Okay, it's going on kind of like a stronger, oh my gosh, there's that peppermint. Like a bit of a stronger lip balm. Like sturdy. So, which is good because I was a little bit worried that it was going to like kind of smush and collapse. But you get that tingle from that peppermint. Ah, I wonder if this will have any plumping effect. No, it's supposed to melt and be like a serum. Not getting that serum-y feel that I thought I was going to get. I thought it was going to melt like kind of like in a, um, a face washing balm where you put it on, it's solid, and you smack it between your fingers and it's like instant liquid. It's not quite getting that, but I have to say, when I apply it, it is, it goes on stronger than I thought, like meaning that it's like a little bit more firm, which isn't a bad thing because I was worried that it was going to kind of like crack and break if it's a bit too soft. I do like that bright refreshingness from the peppermint. It's not burning my eyes, but I can, if you have like any cuts on your lips, definitely don't use this because I think it's gonna burn. Even with like really chapped lips, it depends on like how chapped it is. I'd be a little bit cautious because I'd probably use something a little bit more gentle, like the vitamin C overnight mask or even the belief lip mask, which I still haven't tried yet to be honest with you. So many products, like I bought a bunch of products that I was had every intention on reviewing and trying only to find out that we have discontinued it, but if you still want discontinued product reviews, I will do them because I bought them anyways. Like I tried one last night. Oh my gosh, it's an amazing product. But should I create a review on it? I don't know. You tell me. Okay. So I've waited for a good minute now. It's not getting any silkier. Bit of a bummer. I was actually hoping that it's going to melt a little bit more. So I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed with that to be honest with you but I do like the mint in it and the finish of it it is quite nice because like look at if you just want some really natural lip look it just kind of gives a little bit of that shine which is nice now what we're going to do now is we're going to try it with lipstick first to see how well 
it lie like lipstick lies on top of it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe off half of my lip so that you can see the difference in color I guess we're doing red I just randomly grabbed one so we're doing red so here it is on naked lip and then this will be on the side with the serum on oh wow I'm surprised I'm actually really really surprised I thought there would be a huge difference in the color but no, it's pretty good. The side with the serum definitely feels a little bit silkier. I mean, this is a beautiful lipstick to begin with. This one is in, I believe it's called Blaze. And this is from our FMG line. Beautiful lipstick. I've tried so many different colors of this one. I did all the four spring colors. But what I'm noticing is that it doesn't affect the shine too much. It affects the texture a little bit in the sense that the side with the serum feels a little bit more buttery, a little bit more, more, more silky smooth. Now, what I'm really interested in trying is to see how will it affect a lip stain or a lip marker, which is supposed to be transfer free. Because if you look at this, yeah, it's going to transfer for sure, right? Oddly, the side with the serum transferred a little bit less. I'm surprised. I'm actually very surprised by that. Okay, so anywho, let's wipe this all off. Just to really make sure I got all of it off. Let's see, how much is there left? You never know how much makeup you actually have on your left on your face until you bring out the big guns. Okay, knit, lips are naked again. Lips are naked. Lips are naked, not my uh, That's one of those days. So I'll let this dry for a second and then we're going to reapply the serum on one side and we're going to see if it makes a difference with a lip marker. Which, guess what I'm bringing out? The Tipsy, I love this one. It's the Forever Lip Marker, and this one is in a Blackberry Bite. I can't find my second one. I had another color too, but I just can't, I can't find it right now. So we're gonna make use of this one. All right, lips are good. Okay, so this time, let's just do the left side with a serum. Even with that, you can see the difference in color, right? It just has that extra little bit of flushness, that rosiness to it, even though it's a it's not a colored product. It just brings out the natural color of your lips. It kind of enhances it a little bit more. So if you're looking for that ultra natural look, this would be a great product for something like a, you know, super no makeup makeup look, but it just gives your lips that little bit of dewiness to give it that, you know, healthy, healthy look. All right, now. Like, when you compare the two with with the lip serum and no lip serum, how it, your lips rub together, huge, 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 huge difference. It's just not quite as, like, melted as I expected. So, is it a bad thing? I don't know. It just was a different expectation, right? All right, so now let's try on the Forever Lip Marker in Tipsy and see what the transfer test will be like. So, this is a side without any... Product. And then here's a side with the serum. So pigment-wise, you can definitely see the difference of how much more goes on on naked lips versus non-naked lips. But I think that lip stains and lip markers are more designed to go on a naked lip to really let it absorb into the skin. All right, so we're going to wait another 30 seconds to really let it set, and then we're going to do a self-kissing test to see if there's any transfer. It's been about 30 to 40 seconds now. I can still feel the peppermint on the left side of my lips. They feel uneven, but they don't look uneven. So I don't think it gives a lot of plumpingness to it. I don't know for sure though, because like it's just, I don't think that it's going to plump plump my lips too much. Like it's not designed for that. But anyways, let's do a kiss test on my mug. So here's my naked mug. Yeah. Mm. Which is what I expected. But you can see that it definitely does affect the intensity on the lips. And here you can see that it did transfer right away. So the most important thing is really that you know, right? I mean, that's the way I always go around is like, okay, well, at least I know so that I have that expectation. It works beautifully well for the traditional lipstick, at least for the FMG uh, satin lipstick that I tried on. It's still, the color does still go on quite nice with a lip marker but it's not gonna be as transfer free as you as you typically expect for your lip marker to perform and that's okay it's just it's like I say I just need to know so overall am I happy with this product yeah it's okay it's a great product I'm not like jumping over the moon excited about it as I thought I would be I was like going I thought that I was gonna be like yes I'm so loving it, it performs well in the sense that it gives that like dewy natural 
lip look to it. It does feel very comfortable on the lips as long as you like that minty feel. I personally, I love the minty feel because it just really kind of wakes me up. I'm happy with it. I'm just not like over the moon. I've gotten more excited about other lip products before, but it is overall a good product. So if you want to learn more about this or the any other piece of the Glow Color line, make sure you do go to the link in the description box below. And if you're watching this and you're thinking, ooh, this looks like fun. I love trying on products. I love the idea of testing out products, working from home, sharing what my thoughts are about products. Have you ever considered about becoming an Avon representative yourself and giving these great testimonials? and helping people find the products that they really want and love. If you do, make sure, again, go to the link in the description box below, click that join Avon, or if you have any questions first before starting, send me a message on any of my socials. I'm I try to be on as many social media platforms as possible. I'm not always as as present on some of them, but yeah, hit me up and then we can chat or like just even leave a comment here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure as always guys, please do give this video a big fat thumbs up. It does help me out a lot. And until next time guys, stay well, stay safe and stay fantastically kind. I love you. Mwah. Trying out one more thing. I'm gonna put the lip stain on and then I'm gonna put this on. Let's see if that works. So the lip marker I already put on. Ooh, I like how it looks though after putting the marker on and then adding the glow on top. Let's wait 30 to 40 seconds and let's see the transfer test this time. All right, here we are. This was from the kiss test earlier. Let's move it a smidge. Let's do it now. Oh, bummer. Yeah. All right, it makes it transferable, which is fine. Again, it's fine as long as I know, but I have to say, I do love how it looks. I do love how it looks. All right.